Well, hi everybody, and welcome to my shop. I'm uh, going to carry on with this shadow meter now, which I've set aside for I don't know a week or or so, and um, got a few interesting comments on the next stage of it, and so I think we're gonna we're gonna give it a go now. I've left these wires kind of exposed here right now, and they're a little fragile. And I also left the excess on them. And I'm going to remove the excess here. On this almost invisible wire. God help me if I cut the wrong wire doing this. There we go. Just reduces the chance of me accidentally tugging on one of these guys. Get the other wire out of there. I gotta be so gentle with it now. Okay, so we'll take the bottom off. Okay. And there's the vein. Right there. And the magnet, the horseshoe shaped piece. It's very hard to see in there, isn't it? So it's held in with these two. Oh boy. Rivets. Coming right there and right there. There they are. And I, you know, best suggestion I got is to uh, drill those guys out and later replace them with a brass nut and bolt, which is a good idea. I'm not sure how else it can be done, so that's what we're going to try to do. We'll try and drill those out. Okay, I'll get my drills here. We'll pick one. That one would do it, actually. So we'll try that. We'll try this one. Okay, here we go. That didn't take much. Wow. I don't drill brass very much. It's as weak as can be, of course. Let's see if we can get in here. My uh, tie wrap is, is proving to be in the wrong spot here. the magnet will have just dropped out at this point. Yeah, there it is. Just fell right out. Okay, the vein still okay. Okay, so we'll put this over here. We'll take a look at what we got now. There it is. Now I've been thinking hard about Remagnetizing this thing, and how would I judge when I'm having success and when I'm not? I have to test the magnetism strength of this. I've been pondering the different ways of doing that. Oh, there's nothing there. So, a simple way is just by feel, and that's not bad, you know, is that human beings are pretty good instruments. Okay, so we can see the strength of that one. Look at that. Nothing in there. Okay, 
so now I magnetize screwdrivers like I'm sure you all have and you just hold the magnet north or south one way and you just go down the whole length of the screwdriver uh, this thing's like a screwdriver shank but curved so I'm thinking I should be going around it like this so I think that's what we're going to try first it's a little hard to hold this thing and do this too more than a little hard clamp it in something here. This might be a little big for the job, but let's let's give this guy a go. And I really firmly believe that the bad ideas lead to the good ideas, so go ahead and try your bad ideas. This probably being one of them. <laughs> There we are. Oh. Now, if my experience with my screwdrivers is it doesn't take much of this. I'm going to guess that materials that are you know, tend to retain magnetic magnetism rather are also difficult to magnetize because they'll retain a lack of magnetism too. Let's see where we got them. Well, that side is strong. Not this side. So let's reverse the magnet. Boy, I better keep track of which ends which on this thing. Eh? And go this way. My problem here is I don't know how strong it's supposed to be. Magnet is down in the same polarity as this. Oh, look at that. Well, this side's gone dead. Okay. Can't say I know a lot about magnets. <laughs> I just have like a kid's knowledge of magnets. Really? One of the suggestions I got was use a compass to judge magnetic strength, and I'd be doing that, but I can't put my hands on a compass of all, of all the things. I, I just don't know where I have one. So when I look at this magnet, one side has this weird casting lump here on it, so that's that's one side we can always identify. We use the lump side on the right side.
I'm going to guess in the device, the stronger the magnet, the more the deflection. That, it's kind of heard complaints, or read complaints, that uh, meters that don't work well don't deflect much. It's not that they deflect too much. Well, it certainly is magnetic. Suppose we can place this back in the device and test it. If any of you uh, know about a, a physicist named Richard Feynman, I'm quite sure he's passed on. He's a professor, a well-liked professor, and he has some very interesting videos on the internet. Uh, if you were to type in Feynman big chair, you'll see a bunch of videos where he's sitting in a big chair and he's just being asked very simple questions. And uh, one of the questions is, what is magnetism? And his answer is really interesting. It's not complicated, and uh, but it's not mathematical at all. It's it's real human level stuff, and it's really interesting what his answer is. So I would invite you to hunt down Richard Feynman. Feynman, F E Y M A N, F E F E Y N M A N, I believe. It's close enough to get you there, I think. Richard Feynman, big chair physicist, or something like that. I'll get you some real interesting videos from this uh, this guy. So I think I'll let this whole video show. I'm not going to cut out any of it. Actually, I have trouble cutting out centerpieces in videos. It's, it's a real hassle for me. I don't do it takes too long to do the editing. But this gives anybody an idea of you know, how much effort it's taking, how much time it's taking to, uh, to do this. It's magnetic, but Maybe fast is a mistake. Maybe slow is the way. Let's try slow. Give those whoops, give those molecules a better chance to rotate. I believe that's what's going on in here. Obviously something's getting aligned, we all know that. I have to assume over magnetizing this thing is just about impossible. All it will do is increase the sensitivity of the meter. And in the end, you know, this thing's going to lose its magnetism again. Well, that got pretty strong. Make sure I get the right edge here. Maybe slower is better. So what am I doing here? Am I ripping apart the molecular structure of this piece of metal and causing, at a molecular level, atoms to rotate? I, I don't know. I think that's what we're supposed to believe is going on. course you're watching these videos you can you can skip through parts of course and uh, still be left with an impression of how much you know, how much of this was done 
in case you're facing your own shadow meter. I want to try this. You know, as I do this, I, it feels like the magnet is, is pulling harder and harder against the one I'm sliding it on. Maybe that's a good sign. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see this side. It's, it's gone dead. One side strong, the other side's next to nothing. Could be I gotta be careful where I'm waving the other end of this magnet, because it's a horseshoe it's a horseshoe magnet. I'm waving the other end around while I'm doing this. So maybe I've been unmagnetizing one end while I magnetize the other end. Just from the orientation of the horseshoe. I don't know. Those are my theories. I wonder if my uh, grip is going to be magnetized after all this. This side, this side has has lost its lost its strength, and this side has it. Okay, let's try let's try this. Another suggestion I received was to uh, wrap a coil around this and use uh, some DC current to magnetize it. Seemed like a lot of work, and I'm really not sure of the result. I've never done anything like that. Or is the magnetism just going away in a matter of a few seconds? Is that what's happening here? I can't, I, boy, I'd be stunned if that's the case. It would make this whole thing pretty worth, worthless, wouldn't it? Is it maybe because I have it in this grip? Or is it because I'm not dealing with this part of it? Trying to keep the other end of the horseshoe away from it when I'm doing this. It really seems like there's only so, you know what it seems like? It seems like there's only so much magnetic capacity in this material. And I'm getting it all on one side, not so much on the other. And just kind of moving it around. Now, I don't know if that makes any sense at all. If there's some kind of magnetic limit to these things, then. They only have so much juice, and, and you can get it unbalanced in it. I don't know anything about this at all. Now, I watched, I think it was, uh, whew, um, I can't think of his name on the Internet, um, perform this without even removing it from the shadow meter, just dragging a magnet around it. And he seemed to have good luck. Well, we can do one test at this point. And that would 
be we put it in here and see if it centers the vein. Oh my, look at that. Can you see that? Beautiful. And now I'd like to run a few milliamps through that wire. The wire is currently soldered into the radio, <laughs> which is over behind me. I don't really want to drag the radio out and turn it on to test it at this point. Um, it's probably 10 or 20 milliamps. Well, I watched it being tested with a 9-volt battery. Hmm, how can I do this easily, he says. I can apply some voltage rate to these leads here. Give that a go. Now I've got a variable low voltage DC supply. The variable part is usually it's, it's working or not working. That's the variable. <laughs> The variable is in it. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna try testing the uh, testing it. I'm gonna put these two leads onto it and see if the vein moves. Now the wiring is so delicate I'm really pretty scared about doing this, but let's give it a try here. Look at that. And that's with That was so little current, I can't even see it on my on my meter, and I, I can I can read easily 10 milliamps, so I should be able to see a milliamp. I put the voltage up a little more. The needle is just barely moving on there. Look at that. That's pretty reassuring. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop at this point. I'm going to put this up on the internet and get some comments on uh, on how effective all this has been. I'm just going to set it over here for now. Well, I'm not going to set it here. I can't leave it here. I got other radios to work on. By gory gosh. At least that's sealed up again. I'll set it back with the radio and see what the comments are in case somebody's got another good idea or maybe somebody will say that's enough magnetism or I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching this part on, on 